What is growing on? So well overdue garden update video. We are about mid-May. It has been a year since Nick has been here. Yesterday was his birthday. Yesterday was market and we're gonna get him out here to kind of uh, show you guys what he's been bringing to market, what he's been harvesting, what the garden looks like right now because we are coming into summer and things are not where they were. Whoa. Looking a little beat up around here, huh? I don't wanna hear it. It's a little challenging this time of year, huh? Yeah, you're just fighting nature. Nothing wants to grow. Or at least none of this wants to grow. It's all out of season stuff. Ooh. What did you bring to market yesterday, Nick? Pretty much the same as usual. So salad mix, uh, salad mix, Swiss chard, some kale, scallions, beets, carrots, collards, tomatoes. have tomatoes now. Uh -oh. Add tomatoes. It's probably last week. Um, Cucumbers? Cucumbers. Peppers? Peppers. Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> Green beans. I don't know, it was a whole list of things. Nice. I should know, I just wrote it all down five minutes ago. You bringing that hippie mix? Not last week, because right now I'm just harvesting from the plants that are in the nursery. Okay. And so last week I kind of got what I could out of them. Katarina just propagated a bunch. Those other ones are coming down there. Yeah, that road's doing pretty good. I want to get some of the fat leaf ones, the uh, like Kiko's crump or whatever. Yeah. Um, but what are you yeah. mixing in that you put the moringa in this last time i thought i saw that floating in there no i've been selling moringa as bunches just moringa by itself mm -hmm. oh yeah. nice yeah and then uh elaine at gone juice and has been buying a bunch she's been making a well i forgot what she calls it but it's really good a moringa juice a juice with moringa mm -hmm. mm. it's really good i'd like to try that yeah you got all your trellises up i don't think i've been out here since the trellises have been up whoa whoa whoa, whoa. i saw you got a birthday present yesterday your ingredients. Oh, my compost tea. Your yeah. compost tea, it's yeah. back, huh? I've got two out of three ingredients. The other one should come today. How long you been waiting, Nick? How long three months? Been? Three, four, yeah. It feels like a few months, yeah. It's been way too long. I've got a lot of back orders to fill. All right, if you've been patiently waiting for that biologically active uh, tea, yeah. Nick's back on it. Beets are looking really rough. They are. Beets, beets really don't like Florida. Uh, Jim gets away with it because he's got that salty well and it helps them because beets are a seaside species, but I mean, this is all like Melissa was out here and she's like, Your Mizuna doesn't look too good. <laughs> I was like, That's not Mizuna. <laughs> oh, it's like, beat up, huh? Yeah, it's beat up, that's for sure. The caterpillars have thrashed it, but there's no point in spraying BT on it because it's like, it's gonna rain and. Are you starting cover crops on this side too or just the yeah. other side? Okay. Um, yeah, I've got the whole entrance garden. Well, minus, I think, two or three beds, there's cover crop out there. That's all just black IP, and then uh, yeah, I'm slowly taking over some of these beds. But because my back mess is messed up, I've been just cropping stuff out and piling on the, on the bed, and then letting it sit for a week, and then just spreading the cover crop on top and putting an inch of mulch on top. So it's kind of just green manure going down instead of giving the bed a little compost before the summer. That's that that's my compost. That's cool. You did that in the other beds too. Yeah, like all those, you can kind of see in, not this bed, but, so like this was my whole bed of fennel. You can see the offshoots starting to come up. Um, but that was that massive, the fennel was like this tall. Some of the bulbs were ginormous. It's too big to market. So I piled them in both of these beds and I mean, it's all gone now, but there was some that was kind of trying to grow again, but it's not going to. The ground just ate the organic matter, huh? The millipedes. I can't believe the roselle is already flowering. Oh, it's insane. You're going to get an early inhalate harvest. Yeah. That's exciting. That stuff's doubled in size in a week. I'm surprised it's so much bigger than the, uh, the edible leaf, although it's grown a lot. Those have definitely grown a lot. They've probably, they're probably five or six times the size they were when I put them in. They were in little 72 cells. Wow. So. They've grown. I'm gonna mulch this whole section probably next week. Oh, look at this jungle. It's a nightmare. Whoa! I dig. Nick says it's a nightmare. Look at this bamboo. We've got quite the wall establishing now. No, the top floor is out. Graceful is killing it. Whoa! Yeah, this is a. It's a nightmare to me. <laughs> oh my god. It's like the grass. I cut. I don't know, did you see that? No, you cut some grass? I did. I cut, you hedged started, it, what'd you I do? I started doing a, no, I was just down there with the saw. Um, 
I cut some of it. It's already grown four inches. Comes back pretty quick, that huh? That was two days ago. Jeez. Um. Yeah, there's no airflow in this thing, so everything's got fungal problems as far as vegetables go, so it needs a good haircut. You don't think that's just a Florida thing? No, nothing out here has fungal problems. Different crops, no? No. Man. <laughs> no. And it's, it's too shaded. Like, my peppers are not doing good now. So it's like, it's experimenting. I thought the shade would help the peppers, but, well, at least further into the summer. But it's... Everything's getting too leggy and stretching for light. Okay. Yeah, I mean those ones aren't, but some stuff, like these guys. And yeah, no, this is all fungal problems. My fen fennel that was out there didn't have anything. This is not enough airflow, so the leaves are staying damp too long in the day, and then they just implode. Um, and then the darn pickle worm. I've had so many kooka melons in this. This whole wall looks amazing, doesn't it? It looks awesome. But I'd maybe get five kooka melons that are good out of it. Every kooka melon has a, a one inch caterpillar living in it. No. Not this one, I can feel it's good, but. Yeah, I bit into one and had to spit out of the caterpillar. It was disgusting. Oh, well, that's not vegan. No, so they're useless. Well, Avocado's holding fruit. Uh oh. Yeah, the trees are loaded. At least the avocado. Yeah, they are. And with the compost, the bananas, I think every row has a rack this year. Wow. Last year it was only about two racks in yeah, there. Yeah, they got a little more love, a little more water probably too. Yeah. And you see the peppers, they're going to be trellis because they're getting so tall and not branching out as much as I'd like. I could prune them, but it's, they're just not getting the light they need. Um, cucumbers, fungal problems. Tomatoes, fungal problems. These peppers get more light because it's more open. I mean, you've been bringing a lot of tomatoes to market still, right? I mean, I've got 30 pounds. Just under, just under 300 plants, and I've probably only taken 500 pounds of fruit. Only 500 pounds, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Up north, you can get like a lot more off one plant. You got 2,000 pounds, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know about that, but it'd be a lot. And then some of them look great. Yeah, but they're like. I don't know, they just start getting problems. They just stay wet and then they get soft. Some of these are good now, but, and then they crack. Everything's cracking. Splitters, huh? Yeah, the water, the rain, but. Well, these are those cherries we've been eating. These are delicious. Yeah, these are my favorite. What variety is this, Nick? Indigo cherry drop. Mm. They're good. And this carrot bed is just a failure. Complete failure. No carrots? <laughs> oh. No, I mean, there's so much manure. Oh, look at those bed. little guys. There's so much manure. They just grew tops. And it, like, so there's between the too much nitrogen and nitrates in the soil and then the armadillo that's destroyed, what, four fifths of the bed? Yeah. <laughs> it's whatever. Hey, Nick, when's market stopping for you? I don't know. You can I don't go know. as long as you can? Yeah, I'm gonna push it. I mean, there's still a decent amount that can go to market, okay. so I don't know. So next week is Tanner's last week, or this week was Tanner's last week. That's what he told me anyways, so I'll be the only person with vegetables at Tasty Tuesdays. So I'm gonna go until I have nothing, I think. Hippie and then go all summer long, you know? Yeah, but what am I just gonna go to? Would just hippie make some well, plants? Bananas and star fruits yeah, yeah, yeah. and, you know, yeah. Yeah, start mixing some stuff in. Yeah, I might, I might do like every other week and then do plant orders. That'd be smart and just bring them. Yeah, get like 500 to $1,000 worth of plant orders and just show up just to guarantee it's a productive day. You're becoming quite the plant guy at the market, man. I am. You've learned a lot about plants since you've been here, or at least fruit trees. At least the stuff that does good here. I know yeah. a lot about plants in general. Yes. But yeah, yeah, stuff that does good in Florida, I have definitely educated myself. <laughs> when you're in, we figured it out, huh? I mean, figuring, we're gonna get better every figuring year. it out, yeah. Figuring it out, so Fig yeah, yeah. Still working on it. Yeah. But all right, I'm gonna go check out your cover crop bed over there. Yeah, that looks amazing. Everybody wish Nick a happy birthday. Well, I'm gonna follow you over there. Oh, you gonna come over? Yeah. All right.
So for people wondering, you're at Tasty Tuesdays Market in downtown Newport Ritchie. Nine to one. Nine to one, okay. Maybe nine to 12 in the summer. Okay. Maybe expanding. This bamboo took off. I mean, there was like two shoots yeah. here three yeah. months ago. Considering there's only a foot of wood chip, like it's, it was just wood chips That's and there it. was like 20 feet deep for a while. Just That's taking crazy. off. I saw some volunteer uh, squash or something over there back here in your compost yesterday. Where? Over here. Squash? Or something, yeah, zucchini squash. I was on the tractor, so I didn't get off and get close, but there's a couple over there on the ground. Huh. I have to go check them out? Yeah, I don't even remember what I threw over there. I don't know either. It's been a while. The one looked ready to harvest. Really? Yeah. Let's see. Unless the animals got them last night. There's that entry garden. Let's see what's volunteering over here. I see some lettuce, bolting. Wow. Cucumbers. Cukes. That's from the fall. That's a monster cuke? Oh my God, yeah. Oh, look at the size of that thing. There's not a single pickle worm on it too. What? one there. So that's just an overgrown uh, well, I threw, cucumber nice I had squash. a bunch of giant cucumbers that they just got giant so I threw them over here. Dang. And so that's one that had a viable seed in it. I think we're saving seed for that guy. He's tough. There's really no fungal problems on it either. It's no, it doesn't look too bad. The leaves look good. I mean that's old, e old age. It's not even, there's a little bit of powdery mildew on it but hmm. Maybe yeah. this will be a cucumber section next year. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> volunteers. This cover crop is rocking. Yeah, this one took off. It did. Every day I drove by, it looks bigger. I it's going to be up to the fence here before you know it. I know, I'm going to have to pull the irrigation out and raise it, I think. Oh, because it's not getting high enough it's now. It's going to clog it. Yeah. Oh, they're wrapping around it? Probably. They're starting to spiral. Vibrant. I forgot about those. They probably need to come out. What do you got in there ready to harvest? Here. Is this an actual squash? This is seminal pumpkin. Seminal? Okay. Yeah, I planted four plants. Calabaza. I planted four plants down this bed. And they really They've took taken over. over. There's wow. one right there. See it? Oh yeah, nice size one. So, Ooh. there's probably been, I don't know, I'm gonna say 50 female flowers like out of these four plants but I think there's only two that are taking because the ants the ants are just and that's why my entire row of squash in the main garden yeah. looks like trash because I mean so many female blossoms but every blossom you might be able to see them in some of these open flowers yeah just full of ants they're eating the centers out and then they just rot off I wonder if you could sell the flowers at market a few people are trying to but nobody wants them mm. I love squat like stuffed squash blossoms. Oh, but delicious! Yeah, delicacy. Yeah. This one's a little fungly. Is this the yeah. panel again? Yeah. This yeah. is an old bed, though. Okay, this one's been here a while. Yeah. Still looks better than the other one. <laughs> this is true. It's, they're all on their way out. I see the butterflies, the caterpillars on there. Oh, there's so many. They're loaded up. Yeah. What happened here? Is this for your sprinkler head? Oh shoot! I don't know what happened there. Huh. Yeah, I guess the sprinkler did get, I mean, two days ago, that didn't even look like that. Like That's it how was, quickly this stuff this grows. This stuff grew so fast. There's a head in there yeah. somewhere. I, well, it's standing up right there, so it looks like it got stuck and just soaked this area and the plants got too heavy and fell. That's how he came down, okay. That's so funny though. That looks stupid. <laughs> looks like somebody jumped in there and laid I know, down. I was like, what dog went in there? Willow, where are you going? All right, looking good. Yeah, I've got Tijuana melon uh, on the fence, that African horned melon. So that'll end up, you can kind of see it starting on the fence back there. That'll cover that whole fence. I think I've got one at every other post. They're but, taking off, huh? Yeah, one. That, and I guarantee in a month or two, I mean, it'll be a wall. It'll look good. 
Speaking of ants, I think I stepped in one of these piles. They're pretty thick out here, huh? Yeah. Oh, they're all over. Not bad. Get out of here. Oh. All right, we need ant eaters. We gotta import those in I know. Well, that lady in Trinity has one. Oh. I need to breed that thing. I know. Is that the lady from the market? Yeah, yeah. The, the petting the horse thing. Petting lady, yeah. yeah. The biggest, I think. There's one there. What variety of watermelon you trying here? I did two different types. I did. Crimson Sweet. This one's doing the best. Um, and then that one's Jubilee on the end. Oh, so you have two different rows. Okay. I wanted to see what what did best. Hmm. This one's like. Al competed that one by like 20 times. It's insane. Exact same number of plants, but that one's just starting to kind of fill the bed. This one's, I've trained them back into the bed maybe four times. Wow. They're so vigorous. So this one's killing the Jubilee. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll see what the flavor, flavor profile is like. And then once that does start fruiting. Is this a yellow or a red, red core? They're both red. They're both red, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that one may just be a longer maturity for that. I don't know. I have to look again. You can try okra? Yeah, I've got some seeds over there. Okay. Got them yeah. coming up now. Yeah. I plant them late. Same with all my eggplant. I just, uh, I'm Greek, but I don't really like eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the one year market garden update video. You know, please know. I would not even have a market garden without Nick. There's been some memes started about me being anti-market garden and pro food forest. Um, and I definitely, I don't have time for an annual system. The only reason we have this system is because Nick's here on the farm, too busy with the day-to-day -day nursery installs. Um, I'm not anti-annual garden whatsoever. I just anti-time for annual garden. If you have the time, I think everybody should have one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this follow-up video. Be sure to order some compost tea from Nick. It is 2023. Get out there and start a garden. Pound some dirt.